Hey, so this is Chad Harris with GardenGates.com. We're here taking a look at one of our iron planters with a nice cocoa liner. These are great because they last for years, high quality cocoa liner. So we've already started adding some potting soil. We're gonna go ahead and finish out adding the rest. We're gonna leave about three inches at the top, a nice organic soil that's got some good nutrients in it. This will help us out. We're gonna try to see if we can get this done a little quicker there without making too much of a mess. All right, so then uh, once we get it to about this point, we're gonna go ahead and spread out the soil. All right, we're gonna pick our plants, and then once we pick our plants, we're gonna set them in place, and then we're gonna come back, plant them, add some soil, a little bit more soil, and some fertilizer as well. So here we are, we've taken the plants, they're just in their containers, and we've laid out what we want our planter to look like. This is gonna be for low light, We've used English ivy with a nice white Christmas caladium. So we're going to go ahead and go through the planting process and let you see how we put it all together. All right, so we've started adding our plants to the center. First, you can see we'll start setting them in place. These are great white Christmas caladiums. They love the shade. So if you have a low light area, this is almost ideal. I should say almost ideal. It's actually ideal. You know, a few years back, it was really difficult to find caladiums because of all the hurricanes that came through uh, in the summer of 2004 and 2005. Tons of the caladium bulb mating growers, I should say, um, lost a lot of their crops, so claydums were hard to come by, but they've made their way back. So you can see now, we have a nice full center. We're gonna go ahead and add our English ivy to our four corners. Ashton is doing a phenomenal job today. Ashton's my youngest son, 16 years old. You can see he's starting to add the ivy in the corners. If you've ever seen any of our pictures or videos on the Easter Bunny, Ashton when he was about eight years old decided he wanted to be the Easter Bunny. And so we won't let him out of it yet. He's gonna spin that one around yeah, see, there you go. So he faces the plant. And see, sometimes you have to face the plant so you know what corner for it to come out of. We're gonna face this last one so that the longest part trails out. All right, so we're gonna step back a second. There you go. We're gonna spin them around a little bit to make sure that we have the fullest parts in place. You can see we've finished our English Ivy and White Christmas Caladium basket here. Nice little co cocoa liner. It's a perfect gift if you need a housewarming gift, something on the back patio. Just make sure that it doesn't get any afternoon sun and you'll have tons and months and months of enjoyment. Again, this is Chad Harris with TheGardenGates.com.